Welcome to the series of How To. Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial of how to draw using PowerPoint. So in this tutorial we are going to look at the steps to draw this uh, famous cartoon character minions. So what you are seeing on the right side was what I had actually created using PowerPoint and what you see on the left side is the original image. So if you are new to my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out more such videos in future. So let's get started. In this video I am not going to focus on recreating the entire uh, uh, image from scratch. So instead I am just going to tell you how I have built the different parts of this minions. So I am going to skip few sections covering how to add gradient color to the powerpoint uh, shapes or even combining uh, uh, the shapes to form a group. Okay, So which I have already covered in my previous videos. So please take a look at my previous videos for more such details. So in this slide you can see different parts of minions which I have built. I am going to quickly slide through different parts to show how each part was actually built. And I am finally going to combine them together to form the minion character. So let's look at the eyes. So here I have used seven different shapes to create minion's eyes. So the minion's eyes has this metal frame, this strap holding the metal frame and uh, this yellow background behind this eyeball and the eyeball as such and with the iris and also a uh, glittering uh, shining stuff on the iris. So the metal frame is made out of uh, this component you see. So this is made out of two different circles and uh, I have used the radial uh, gradient for uh, uh, this uh, metal frame and uh, you can very well make it out when I, when I just copy this and paste it here. So the radial part is actually showing up. So when you combine two such uh, circles, group them together and then uh, give the gradient uh, uh, fill like what you see on the right side, you get this kind of effect. I am going to remove this. And the eyeball is also made out of uh, the same gradient effect. You can see like I have used four different gradient points and you can adjust the gradient effect as such. Okay. And uh, the iris is also made out of four such gradient. I am going to zoom in to show you how this was actually created. And I have created a small white circle which can be just moved around to show that glittering effect. Okay. So let's combine all these uh, shapes to form the minion's eyes and I have already placed all these shapes in order saying like which one has to come first and which one has to come next. So if you look at this, the metal frame is here. On top of that, the yellow background what you see will be placed and on top of this yellow background this white eyeball is placed and the iris will be on top of this white eyeball. Okay, so I am just going to copy all these shapes, paste it here on the right side just for uh, having a copy of it and I am going to combine them. So this goes here and this white section comes here. So this is nothing but what you see on the left side of this metal frame. And I'm going to bring the metal frame on top of this. And this yellow background and the eyeball. I have not grouped the eyeball together. So that I can show you like how this can be adjusted. Else it can be even kept on the right side. So I'm going to keep both of them center focused. And I'm going to bring the eye section as such. So now you have the minion's eyes. So I am going to go to the main image and see what will be covered next. So we have already covered this section and uh, next we are going to look at this pair of boots and then the pair of gloves. So let's look at the pair of boots. So if you look at this boot, it is made out of four different shapes. So this is the rounded rectangle. This is the teardrop, 
this is the chord and this is a smaller teardrop so you can find them here so this is the rounded rectangle and this is the teardrop and this is the chord so once you are done with this creating these shapes so what you might have to do is just combine them together this way bring it here and the other shape the chord has to come here it might not look like a boot now so the moment you just combine this group this together paint it black and remove this outline this might look like a boot now okay so just copy this paste it again go to this format shape and rotate flip horizontal so you have created the second boot so similarly if you look at the gloves section it is made out of four different shapes so one is the inverted trapezoid and then we have three different uh, teardrops if you carefully look at this teardrop it is not exactly like how it would look like the moment i just use that teardrop okay so i might have to click this yellow section and then slightly drag it out to make it slightly protruding okay so let me combine these four shapes to make the pair of glove okay so this one comes here and then this one this shape comes here okay and i am going to combine them together group it copy paste i would have to paint this and i will remove the outline so you have created the glove as such and to create the other glove you might have to follow the same steps what i had actually suggested in this uh, slide you have to flip horizontal to create the second pair of glove so what is actually pending is we still have to draw this minion's jeans his uh, trousers a pocket and also his stylish hair so let's look at the minion's jeans so if you look at this section right so there are two parts here okay so this is uh, this jean section what you see here and there is something just behind this jean so we are just going to have this uh, semicircle which will be filling in this place so let's look at the steps to create this shape if you look at this shape carefully this is not actually filled with plain blue color you can see some kind of texture and we will look at uh, uh, the steps to create that texture as such so so this is the shape what you had seen in the previous screen and this shape is made out of four different shapes okay so one is just the plain square and the second one is the chord where i have used only this portion of it you can see two different yellow spots and i can still make it like one full oval here okay i am not going to change that and of course there are two moon shapes here which you can pick from here so this is uh, the moon shape okay and how did i arrive at the gray, the texture here is like just click this instead of gradient or solid fill you might have to click this pattern fill and click this pattern and there are two colors for this pattern so one is the foreground color and then the background color so i have picked this color for foreground and i have picked this color for the background this is a slightly lighter color compared to this one so that you can see the difference in texture to show the difference if i just click this red you can still see the texture has changed fully so i am going to retain what i have done and i am going to go to the next section that is creating the pocket so if you look carefully at the pocket there is a logo right so so this is what the entire pocket is actually made out of so one is the same uh, shape what you see here so this was actually picked from uh, this shape okay so and then uh, there is a circle filled with black color and the square which is slightly tilted 45 degrees and then another black color two solid uh, uh, shapes here okay so all i have done is just combine it this way and place this one here and bring both these shapes here okay so i might have to drag this one slightly to the left so that's how this uh, logo was created and then i have to drag it here 
so this will create the pocket and the last part we are going to look at is the hair and this hair is nothing but it's an arc shape so which i have picked from here so even i can pick one to show how this is done so i will just drag it and i will turn it to the left so you can also increase the size of it and also the color of it okay so likewise i have created the multiple arcs and combined them together to form this pattern so that like it matches with this original image hair so the part which i have not covered yet in this tutorial is the body of this minions and the arms okay so if you look at uh, this slide this is the body of the minions it is quite simple all i have used is this shape so rounded same side corner rectangle right so uh, this is the shape i have used and i have also got in the gradient so from uh, lighter yellow to the darker shade of yellow and what you see here is the arms so this is nothing but uh, it's the cord so it's like one fourth of the cord so similarly i have uh, copy pasted and then flipped horizontal to create the other uh, side of the arm and i have also picked the color to match with this color and the left arm to match with this color so now let's combine all these uh, shapes to create the minions so i'm going to use this slide where i have uh, the combined uh, view of this minions on the left side and i'm going to use all these shapes to create this guy so let's combine all these shapes to form this character okay So you have your minions ready okay so select everything group it together you can just drag it anywhere and of course uh, you might have to bring his smile slightly to the bottom so that's all we have in this video guys so if you like this video please uh, subscribe and also hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out any such future videos thanks for watching